Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day here today. Actually, today I I will show you my my outdoor st shower station, and I actually took my shower outside today. So I got this piece of plywood here. Uh, so I stand on here, put my bowl there. I put all my other stuff on the thing. I hang my towel on the chair. And uh, I wash up completely outside. And I'll tell you what, after a couple of months of washing inside, it was really nice <laughs> to wash outside today. I know it's probably going to sound crazy, but uh, it was very enjoyable. I will not complain at all. So we got a beautiful, sunshiny day. Uh, we should, well, where are you going to work? I know that the batteries are probably at 100% already. Actually, I'll show you something here. Hold on. Let's go in here and take a look. I'm pretty sure we will take a look at this real quick. Uh, so this side over here is still a mess. <laughs> I have to uh, organize this side as well. There's Joe's uh, auger from St. Bernard Acre, so I have it inside here so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, let's see. All right, it's saying 98% and charging so what we're gonna do all right so yesterday I had plugged in the top battery these two batteries are disconnected so I'm gonna hold on one second and I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna connect the lower battery Everything is okay. So I'm going to actually kind of show you guys what I just did. In the back of here, let me kick this around. It's probably going to drive you a little crazy, and I apologize. But in the back of here, I have plugged in the lower battery into the system. So what that's going to do? Uh, the big battery is at 98%. Yesterday when we had the nice day, I plugged in the top battery and gave that a bit of a charge. I keep these two disconnected, especially in the wintertime, uh, because what happens is I don't need uh, to use all of that all the time. But what ends up happening is, like now when we get into the warmer weather, I'll keep one of these plugged in uh, constantly. The other one is going to not be plugged in. If the system shuts down... I have to reboot the system. Like if this screen here, okay, goes completely blank and the whole thing shuts down, you need to have a 48 volt battery to reboot the system. So that's why I will always keep one unplugged at all times because that way system shuts down, I just gotta plug in the, the other one and boom, it kicks the system on, all right? So, and that's only happens generally if this battery here gets down to zero. Uh, it's always going to have a 50% standby, so it has an automatic shutoff in this, so the batteries aren't damaged. And so that's how that kind of works. But because the sun is out, I want to make sure that that lower battery is getting a nice charge today. Uh, over the course of the winter, you know, if I had a sunny day, that's what I've been doing uh, with that system. So hopefully that explains a little bit. Uh, just, oh, hell, you are driving. She jumps up, okay? So she just jumped up and hit my hand when I was holding the camera with her, with her, with her face, with her mouth, actually. So it's part of her game that she likes to do because she's a lunatic. So anyway, um, so that's what I end up doing with that system to make sure everything is good. Uh, I always make sure I have one disconnected to reboot the system if it comes down to that but uh, I since figuring out what was going on <laughs> uh, I've been really on top of that so I haven't had that, those problems uh, since then but uh, it's nice to have that there just in case of uh, if a breaker gets triggered and everything shuts down and usually when it shuts down it's the system so that's what we end up doing 
All right, uh, tonight I will be live streaming, 8 p.m. I would encourage you all to join me then. We're gonna have a good discussion. What we're gonna talk about tonight, there's been a lot of accidents going on. A lot of accidents happening. Uh, a lot of mysterious fires. So we're gonna discuss that tonight uh, in the live stream and uh, we're gonna kind of break that down. Are these accidents? Are they not accidents? Uh, you know, what do you think? What do I think? Uh, and what is happening? Uh, you know, you're, you're talking about a second uh, train derailment now down in Texas where a uh, train ended up hitting a tractor trailer killing the driver in the tractor trailer. So that trailer also having chemicals. So we got to continue to... Uh, to look at these situations and what's going on, why they're happening, and all those type of things, and uh, you know, we'll go from there. But uh, so we'll talk about that tonight uh, in the live stream. But, uh, yeah, it's just an absolutely beautiful day. A little bit windy, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. But uh, I'm just uh, really kind of enjoying this. It's uh, That's a piece of cardboard. See that cardboard that she's chewing at right now? That's what she grabbed from over here yesterday. <laughs> she's a nut job, I'm telling you. The dog is nuts. She's a good dog, though. I can't complain. So, it doesn't seem to be as windy here. Okay. So, anyway, uh, that is, uh, you know, we got actually quite a bit of rain coming in the forecast. We'll say have a pretty good rain coming in tomorrow. And so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but, uh, just to say, I'm gonna I'm gonna take today and I'm gonna enjoy today and I'm gonna get out in the sun as much as I possibly can, uh, just because it is really really nice. Uh, there's a lot that I have to do, but uh, slow and steady, slow and steady is gonna win the race, and that's what we're gonna continue to do. We're just gonna work at things, uh, get things done. But, uh, you know, we're getting there. We're uh, more than halfway through February now, which is good. Uh, the 10-day forecast actually looks pretty decent. Uh, temperature wise, we only have a couple of overnights. Uh, one overnight in the 20s over the next 10 days, and one in the low 30s. Other than that, it's not going to be bad at all. And so, kind of looking forward uh, to that as well. But uh, yeah, just uh, like I said, I'm uh, I, I'm like getting to that point where like we have days like this, and I go, okay. Come on, spring, get here, <laughs> you know. Uh, I guess what they're saying is, and I, and I think I told you guys this the other day, March is generally dry, generally pretty dry in March, and then the rains come in April. So uh, if we get to that point where we get, uh, where it's dry in uh, March, which would be great, and my gravel guy can get in here, I definitely want to, you know, run on the tire or the tracks and have him just fill in the ruts and uh, if he does that that'll make a big big difference uh, you know moving forward but uh, I may up and through this area actually I will walk up here up in this area up here uh, I'll probably bring some in before you know not saying super soon but hopefully soon uh, there's I have to kind of decide okay where am I hitting where am I not hitting but we have some spots up here that I definitely need to hit. Uh, you can kind of see I'm uh, trying to go over, but the ruts were like here um, and here. So now I've been going on this outside lane. So I want to, right through here, I want to put some gravel and then this spot here around that turn and leave this you know, center part where it is right now. Uh, we can always hit that again later. But if I throw a stone in through here, it'll definitely, you know, make it better. I can get in and out of here okay. I haven't had a problem all winter. Uh, so that's been a good thing. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we got. But anyway, guys, I know I'm just rambling now. You're probably like, what is he even talking about today? But uh, just uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. But uh, definitely join us tonight for the live stream. I think it'll be a very interesting conversation. And we're going to be talking about a lot of these mysterious fires. 
uh, a lot of these ex accidental fires, right? Accidental fires. Uh, we're going to talk about these accidental uh, train derailments and, uh, you know, with the, what's like the situation with Ohio, how bad that is. Uh, and in the meantime, which not a lot of people are talking about now because, oh, my God, it's already passed and we're not there and we're not dealing with it. Uh, Turkey and Syria, the earthquake over there that has killed more than 41,000 people at this point. Very sad situation. Very, very sad situation. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. I'm going to get back at what I'm doing. I uh, hope everybody's having a marvelous day. And I hope you all had a nice van Valentine's Day if you were with somebody. Uh, if you weren't, then I hope you had a nice Valentine's Day by yourself. I did. It was very nice. I <laughs> I relaxed. I was like, so nice. But uh, anyway, uh, I hope you all have a great day. Remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much better shape. Also, remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right. I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.